Fishing for bass in September, bait number two. Remember, bait one was the underspin and top spin. Bait number two is the frog. Okay, it doesn't matter whether it's the actual traditional frog. Top water, it works. Same, same premises early in the morning. Obviously, now our rivers are still down, and we are at 96 degrees. Um, water temperatures at 85, 86 degrees. So you're going to need an early morning top water bite, uh, probably for about a two-hour window, maybe less some days. Um, and then it goes dead. And then mid-morning, around 11, 10.45, 11 to like noon, for some reason, it picks back up again. Um, it's just there's basically like a two-hour gap. Um, so I want to keep that in mind because we are still in the early part of September, all right? And remember, these five baits for September that we're covering in this series are the natural progression of the baits that you're going to use throughout the month, meaning as we move towards the end of the month, we should see the rivers change, the, te the water temperature change, our temperature, overnight temperatures falling. I think the overnight temperatures are still in the 70s. We want to get those in the low 50s to where we can break out that jerk bait and break out those kinds of things, okay? Um, but bait two, top water, obviously frog is huge in September. You've got a lot of bass moving shallow to feed up. Um, you got resident bass who stay shallow. You got smallmouth in the smaller river, skinnier river systems um, that are actually beginning to roam and look for targets of opportunity. Remember, you do not just have to use the traditional frog. Okay, what I mean by traditional frog is your traditional frog pattern, no matter what brand um, you prefer. You can also use your spook pattern frog okay but what i would recommend is a bluegill pattern okay a bluegill or shad pattern spook okay if you don't have the frog okay they cover and are going to attract basically the same types of enticements and the reason is a lot of people don't may not have frog bait so if you don't have a frog you know, and you don't have time, you're going to run out the store and you're going to get a frog. I'm sure you got a small spook, okay? Or And you want to, why bluegill, Jay? Why bluegill? Because if you live in the mid-Atlantic region, your bluegill and your shad and other forage species have completed their post-spawn. Most of them spawn July, August, okay? So you're four or five weeks into their post-spawn period, Okay. And they're about this big. Okay? And so, that's what you want to look for. The natural cycle order of, okay, the river system. Bass are going to be feeding up on those, okay, forage species that have spawned this year. Okay? And they're going to chase them down. Now, is that the only? No. Obviously, in this category, we're also going to throw in the whopper plopper for top water, okay, early in the morning. Either anything greenish, anything that's this is a this is a baby bass, but you can frog, frog patterns, plenty of frog patterns, bright colors, those things tend to be um, a lot more attractive. This one is very unique, whopper plopper style. It is a flat side. Okay, look how narrower that is compared to say your river to sea whopper plopper, or maybe some of the other uh, copies of that um, style bait. This is a very, very narrow, okay, which changes the entire trajectory and movement that you can work with in your water column, okay? It's a lot different. If you notice, this is a little smaller, okay? It's a little bit smaller. It's about a 90 millimeter. This is a little smaller too. So it creates less of a disturbance, which would be created by a bigger fish, correct? A bigger bait fish. This is the perfect size, okay? 90 to 110, but 90s right now in September or lower, 70 or 90, optimum because that's the size and that's the kind of splash that these little bait fish are making um, that your smallmouth especially are used to hearing and attracted to, okay? As far as another top order I really like, and I'm throwing in this category and it's not really frog, but it mirrors a frog, is an old school bait for me it's an old school bait had it around for a long time i don't even know if they're even pushed by anybody anymore 
because it's a major bait, major manufactured bait. These are these are all custom, okay? These are all custom here. Obviously, these are not, all right? Um, is a prop walker, okay? Just always, look at that. You can keep these out. Look, this is kind of bent. It's not, you can snap them on. You can fl 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 flare these out, okay? It's just a really older bait. Probably isn't thrown by very many people anymore. Um, this is my shad coloration, kind of silver chrome type mirrors like the shad. I only throw this in September, early October. For some reason, I break it out. Um, it's just really, really effective. And you can see how it spins, okay? And you're walking that. It mirrors a frog. Again, if you don't have a frog, no, I'm not saying this is a frog bait, okay? Um in the traditional sense, but it's in that category of, you know, um, to throw this out there because you're not throwing it in with the chatter baits. You're not throwing it in there with, with the jerk baits or the top spins or the underspins or the crank baits, right? You're not, you know, okay. So it's got to go in there somewhere. This is probably the one group where it fits the most. And then of course you cannot sleep on the old school, traditional rig it however you want to rig it. These are my custom pours, okay? You can rig these however you want to rig them if you're a finesse guy and you want to roll with, with frogs um, rigged that way, however you want to rig them in September because they are still, they are going to work for you. Um, they're going to work for you every bit as good as fundamentally your top, okay? Um and a lot of people don't throw the old school. This is the old school toad uh, that, that, you know, that you still have the molds for. Um, you know, and it's, it's just a fundamentally you can rig these a whole bunch of different ways. Um, and so it works for you if you want to, if, you, if you're going to go that route. Um, those are just some opportunities for bait number two for the September top baits that you want to go to. So we have gotten two out of the five covered. We can watch the video for the underspin and top spin that's already posted up. And this video is for the frog. So get out there in the early mornings or mid to late mornings and roll with these baits right now. The underspin and top spin. Start start out in the morning. Start out in the morning with your frog. A little frog tip too as well. Just remember all that's all sexy and all. But really it's this side. It's really this side that matters. Okay. So what I like to do on a couple of my frogs that I already have out um, ready to go is I like to take the spray, you can use paint, you can use marker, create a little bit of different colorations on the bottom. I usually use red, orange, uh, chartreuse, think colors like that, you can see that, like that, okay? It's going to change fish below looking up, okay, at a, at a fish going across the grass, okay? Something that's going to pop them. Remember, they're, be they're seeing reds and greens, okay? Remember that, okay? All the other colors are great. But the bass are seeing in tones of red and green, and then everything else is like gray. Okay, so any kind of any kind of thing you got, like again, spook greenish on the bottom, shark green, they're gonna key on that. Okay, and so you want that again. This this bluegill, yellow and green on the bottom. Again, it hits that that their sight mechanisms. Okay, for their optics. We know this from a scientific perspective that all the other colors aren't are all seen as grayish, okay, except for red and green, okay, variations of chartreuse and green and yellow, and then um, and then your red. So think about that the next time you're uh, looking at your bait. So you want to do something with a little bit of dip and die. You want to do something with a little coloration. You want to do all those kinds of things. Just keep that in mind. Look it up. Look at the biology. Just Google it. You'll find out exactly what I'm talking about. We know this to be true. Sometimes you just can't fight science. All right, mates. Bait number two, frogs.